Mazda 2 petrol engine ZJ and code of engine and we have a knock sensor fault code uh, the, en the engine warning light is uh, sometimes on sometimes off so we're gonna check uh, resistance on the knock sensor because this is the most common thing and it should be between uh, 532 and 588 kilo ohms additive 20 degrees of course we have a warmer engine but uh, resistance is uh, fluctuating a lot and especially once I touch the uh, knock sensor wiring as you can see Now I'm touching just by the sensor, I cannot see the sensor itself because it's under the inlet manifold. As you can see there is quite uh, big resistance difference when it's moving the wire and touching the sensor itself. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect the plug, the socket here, and try to reset DTCs. And uh, after ignition on, I'm gonna wiggle the wiring, and we'll see what's what's gonna happen. So the engine warning light is off, engine is running, I'm gonna try to wiggle the wire. wire. And especially wiggling by the sensor. So the warning light doesn't uh, come back. I'm gonna lift up, lift the car, and see what's uh, how does that look uh, visually. Okay, I lifted up the car, and I can see barely, but uh, the sensor, yeah, and just in the place where it's connected, I'm indicating with screwdriver it's kind of greasy and I suspect this connection here so resistance now is uh, 0 0.9 again and I'm gonna wiggle the wire with screwdriver just to see if it's changing and uh, as close as possible to the uh, knock sensor. So I'm not touching it yet. And now I'm moving, and it changes twice as much, 2.5 times as much as it was before. So that's definitely knock sensor malfunction. The wire is three, almost three, almost four. Just gently touching. The wire. Like so. Okay. And to replace this uh, knock sensor in this particular car is has to be removed inlet manifold. Okay, thanks for watching.